Hi, welcome to the series of calculator features, myself Shekhar. In this series, I will discuss the features you must know for the better utilization of calculator which will definitely help you in solving the questions very quickly and accurately. Watch all the lectures in this series to master the uses of calculator, check the video description for the complete playlist. And you must have watched the second video of this playlist that is the setup of the calculator, how to set up the calculator, which is very important, okay, you should be completely aware of the basic setup of the calculator. And in this video, I will show you how to convert angles, degrees to radians, minutes and seconds to degrees, all other conversions, all other angle conversions from one form to another form. Like always, check the description directly to navigate, you know, required topic and the timestamp. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you will never miss a video from Pi Square. This is a calculator interface. You might have a different interface based on your calculator model, but this is same, you know, the technique is same, conversion process is same. So now my motive is to convert 3 radian into degrees and 400 gradient, 400 gradient uh, in how many degrees and 20 degrees in how many radians. I want to convert 20.56 degrees in degrees minute second format. In the same way, these degrees, this is minute, minute format and here it is, it's a second format. Okay, you can see this, this is a minute format, is seconds. So how many degrees is that complete one? That's what I'm, I'll tell you. So first, 3 radian I want to convert in degrees. See here, the calculator is in degrees mode. The calculator is in degrees mode. I want output as degrees. Now let me enter 3 radian, 3, I want to say this 3 is radian. So shift and this, okay, because here we have degree, radian and gradient, right? So now you choose radians, choose 2. So 3 radian, if I enter equals, 3 radian means 171.88. Similarly, pi radian, if you want to go for pi radian, pi radian is how much? 180 degrees, you must get 180, yeah. that's it. So similarly, 400 gradient is how many degrees? We know 400 gradient means 360 degrees, okay. Let's see how to get that. 400. For the gradient, shift again this DRG. Now go for gradient that is 3. So 400 gradient is as calculator is in degrees mode, the result will be displayed in degrees. Okay, 360 degrees. So it's done. Now I want to convert degrees to radians. So obviously you should do, you should change the calculator mode to radians. 4. Now the calculator is in radian mode, okay, calculator results will be displayed in radian mode. So 20 degrees, enter 20, degrees, degrees here 1, degree symbol 1. So 20 degrees is 0 0.349 radian, okay. Similarly 20 gradian, you know, you got the process now, how to convert one form to another form. Now coming to this, here we got 0. 3, 4, 9 something. Now 20.56 degrees in minutes and seconds format, degrees, minutes, seconds in this format. That's interesting one. See here, 20.56. I told you the symbol. This symbol is for degrees. This is for degree symbol. This is for minute symbol. And this is for second symbol. All these three symbols are there, right? now in this button itself here itself you have all three buttons degrees then minutes then seconds do you see that so 20.56 you hit this directly you got here degrees now if i simply press equals you will get a result as this means 20.56 means it is 20 degree and 33 minute 36 seconds Okay, in some calculations you may have to go for this. Okay, in, if you are electrical engineer, 
in measurements you will get this minute seconds format okay current transformer ratio potential transformer ratio the angle they will give normally in terms of minutes and seconds anyways you will get in uh, multiple uh, applications you can use it now suppose you want to convert it is given in terms of 20 degree 33 minute 36 seconds okay 20 degree 33 minutes 36 seconds then you should get answer should be 20.56 degrees this should be the answer right so let's see how to get this conversion now simply 20 you hit this 20 degrees then 33 33 again you need to enter minutes again you simply press this first value that will take it as you know degrees then the second one that will automatically take it as minutes again 36 again you hit this it will take it as 36 seconds now you enter equals 20 degrees 33 minute 33 36 seconds that's what you know input but i want in degrees now simply hit this you will get in degrees simply hit this again you will get in minute format this is again this button you should be very careful with this button okay hit this you'll get in minute second format this one a regular format okay i think you're clear with these conversions give it a try practice it once you will definitely understand more clearly of course you can definitely use the regular formula pi by 180 multiplying with pi by 180 all these things that's okay it's a direct conversion that's it for this this video in the next video i'll talk about complex number conversion polar form to rectangular form rectangular form to polar form and different complex variable operations thank you see you in the next lecture again if you're for the first time you're watching this channel subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you will never miss any update from PySchool. Thank you.